Hello, and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. Today we'll be taking a look at how to add a sub-user to your Minecraft server. The first thing we're going to do is go ahead and click register on the left hand side. And from here we'll need to create our sub-user account. For this tutorial I'm going to use the username sub-user and I'm going to now enter in a password and then confirm the password. I'll now need to include a email for the account. So for this tutorial I'll just use subuser at pebblehost.com and now I'll need to enter in the verification code. Now that this is completed, we can go ahead and click register and this will create our account and bring us back to the login page. Okay, so I've logged into the owner account and I've selected the server. So the first thing I'm going to do is head over to the sub users tab on the left hand side. And once we click that, that will pull up an option for us to add a user. So let's go ahead and click add user. And we'll need to enter in the username that we just created. So in our case, this would be sub user. So let's go ahead and click add. As you can see, we've added the sub user and it's also displayed all of the permissions we can give this user. A few of these permissions to take note of would be the edit configurations permission. Uh, what this permission will do is give the user access to your server configuration files as well as let them change them. The create slash delete MySQL permission gives them access to see the current SQL database as well as create new ones or delete old ones. Now the run preinstall slash server scripts permission will give the user the ability to select a specific script or preinstall and have that run on the next reboot. Uh, keep in mind there is a specific script in there that will give the user the ability to delete all server files. So you may want to reserve this permission for someone like an administrator. Over in the administration section, most of these are self-explanatory. Obviously you have your start, stop, and restart server permissions. However, you do have the change subdomain permission. Now the change subdomain permission will allow this specific user to edit a current subdomain, so get rid of whatever you currently have the subdomain set as, or create a new subdomain. So this could, depending on if you currently have a subdomain, make you lose a subdomain that you have as they would be able to change it. If we move on over to the command and scheduled tasks permissions and go towards the bottom, we'll have the manage scheduled tasks permission. The manage scheduled tasks permission will allow the user to create create new scheduled tasks as well as edit current ones. So this could give the user the ability to start, stop, restart the server, even if they do not have the permission ticked in the administration tab. In the FTP access category, we'll have the read slash download files permission. This will allow the user to view all current server files as well as download those files. However, they can't make changes to them. If we give them the write slash upload files, they'd be able to edit files, delete files, as well as upload their own files. All the way at the bottom, under the subusers tab, there is a permission called manage subusers. The manage subusers permission will allow this subuser to add new subusers, delete old subusers, as well as give and take away permissions to subusers. At the very bottom of the page, we have the predefined permission groups. We have guest, user, moderator, senior moderator, and admin. This will allow you to give the subuser a bunch of permissions without having to manually go through and select them all. So if we wanted to give the subuser account the administrator role, this will give them all of the permissions besides change subdomain and view audit log. You can still go through and uncheck or recheck permissions. All this is doing is setting the permissions up for someone who may be in this group. For example, an admin might have most of the permissions available. That's going to wrap it up for this tutorial. If you have any questions regarding anything we've covered in this video, please feel free to join the Pebbleos Discord and we'd be more than happy to help you there.